Welcome to Commvault Quick Start. This video presentation is designed to show you just how easy it is to use Commvault software. The first part of this presentation provides a basic overview of Commvault and the components and terminology we use. The second part provides simple step-by-step -step instructions to configure and administer a basic environment and includes easy-to-understand explanations for essential Commvault concepts. Hello, I'm Frank Solero. Manager of Curriculum Development for Commvault Education Services. Thank you for reviewing the brief Commvault overview video. Now that you have a basic understanding of how Commvault software works, let's take a deeper look on how to configure and administer your environment. This course will review storage configurations, including disk, tape, and cloud, show you how a storage policy works, how to set up schedules and schedule policies, client and agent configurations, daily administrative tasks such as backup and recovery operations, and finally, setting up alerts and reports to monitor your environment. In order to learn how to do all of these things, we will first take a look at the primary user interface, the ComCell console. So, let's get started. You can access the ComCell console by locally installing the software or by accessing the console through a web browser. Enter your username and password and the ComServe hostname. ComCell Console has easy to use features like the ComCell ribbon. This lets you navigate to many configuration options. Options are organized within a toolbar to provide quick access to common tasks. ComCell Browser represents the backup environment. From here, you can expand each object and right click to access tasks, views, and properties. You can configure and manage all clients. Configure different types of libraries under storage resources, define policies such as storage and schedule policies, tab through the sections to monitor and control active jobs, view all events within the ComCell environment. To get started, let's review the libraries entity and how to configure different types of storage.